This is Chris Hart with East McCodack Company. As part of our continuing improvement of motion picture technology, we are introducing a new member of the Vision 3 family, Vision 3 250D color negative film 5207. For this new daylight balanced film, we incorporated features of our 5219 Vision 3 product. The result is a similar color and contrast that you like about the 5219 with the added benefits of more detail in extreme bright areas and finer grain in underexposed areas of your scenes. Kodak invited cinematographer Fred Murphy, ASC, to shoot the comparison demonstration for us. Here are the results of his test of the 5207 compared with the 5205. The first comparison scene was designed to test the extended highlight capability of 07. I purposely let the highlights on the bed overexpose by six or seven stops. Here, the colorist created a highlight mat for just the windows and the bed sheets to bring out some detail and tonality. The 07 stays cleaner in the highlights and has a little more contrast, whereas the 05 looks a little murky and yellow. The bright field in the background is at least four stops over, and the sky is seven stops. A luminance key was added to both shots to recover the highlights. It's apparent that the 07 retains more detail and subtler shades of green. Also, I feel the color of the man's skin is much more pleasing in 07. If I was shooting green screen or blue screen work that was matching with daylight photography I'd already done with 250 Daylight, I'd definitely have to use 250 Daylight for the green screen. And in this you can see, as you zoom in, you can see that 07 has a little less grain and definitely does as well, or a little better than 05. I wanted to get a sense of how well this stock would do in very underexposed situations. It's a comparison of normally exposed scene versus the same scene exposed at one stop under. You can really have a hard time telling the difference of slight increase in grain, but I'd have no problem using this stock one under. I wouldn't even think about it. For this close-up of the young lady, I used regular household bulbs. This rendered her skin very warm, as you would imagine. Uh, I do this often, uh, usually trying to stretch the color. And if this warmth is something you want, 07 seems to retain the same look as 05. Coming back to the 07, I feel there's a smoother texture to the woman's face and also in the background. This shot with the saturated fabrics shows how the color rendition has been maintained between the 07 and the 05. Although the colors are similar, I do notice that the yellow is a bit truer with the 07. Take a look at the windows and the building outside. They're somewhat washed out in the 05, but you can see more color and strength in the highlights in the 07. Coming back to the 07, there's a crisper feeling to the overall image. It's the cleaner highlights definitely helping in giving it that appearance. 
We saw the same shot earlier where the colorist manipulated the highlights with a mask, but even without a mask, you can see improvements in the highlights in the 07. You'll notice here that the 05 has less color definition in the overexposed grass. Now take a look at the man's skin tone as we cut back to the 07. You can see it's more pleasing, perhaps a little warmer. What's really interesting about this stock to me is its ability to create intense, colorful images in what is basically a sketchy lighting situation uh, with available light coming through the windows, a little bit of fill, and some tungsten practicals. The next shot you see is the same thing under Expose One Stop. And at one stop under and time back to look normal, the grain's still tight, colors are still very good, and it still looks rich. On the final shot at one under Push One, you start to notice grain contrast, but the image is still pretty good. Here's another exposure series. Uh, this time the 07 is compared to 05. The emphasis here is on comparing grain structure in the shadow. As expected, both images look good at normal exposure. Now at one stop under, the texture of the grain is still tight. In the 05, you can see a little more coarseness in the shadows. At one under push one, 07 grain improvement is easier to see. You zoom into the image, gives you a better chance to see the smoother grain of the 07, especially in the out of focus area in the middle. In this final scene, the stained glass windows are reading about five to six stops over. As the luminance key wipes into the shot, it's apparent that the bright windows in 05 are compressed. 07 allows you to extract more detail from the highlights and produce a cleaner, crisper, sharper image. What I like about 07 is its intense rendering of color, its strength when it's underexposed, its reach into the highlights, it's got warmer, richer, better skin tones than its predecessors. And it's also good to have a relatively fast stock that gives you strong images in falling light, urban canyons, and a gloomy day exteriors. <laughs>